how many people have Bluetooth code enabled on their mobile phones right now in this room? Okay. Uh, that's not working. Okay, since morning, since I came in here, I've been running some scan, and I found 19 vulnerable phones in these rooms. Um, one of the interesting one is, who is Abdullahi? <laughs> Abdullahi. Okay, I can see Abdullahi over there. Abdullahi, can you stand up, please? Have you recently updated your mobile phone to overcome the WPA2 attack? Now? Okay. Uh, can, can, can I see your phone before you sit down, please? Can I see what is on your phone right now? Can you, can you read it for me? I cannot see it from here. Oh, you've been hacked. So that, that's why it is important to keep on updating your mobile phones. So right, guys, I'm not gonna show you what he has been doing on his mobile phone. I'm not gonna show you. It's, it's between me and him so that, uh, okay? So it is important, cyber security is part of our life. And we interact with it every single day of our life, whether you know it or not. And so, okay, sorry, yeah. Yes. So this is some of the programs that Abdullahi. Uh, okay. This is some of the programs that Abdullahi has been checking since he came in here. Low party. He has been checking some site X. He has been on Facebook. He has been checking some newspaper. Right. So it is illegal to hack, guys. It is illegal to hack. I'm just doing this one for an experiment so that you all will be cyber security aware. And that is why I'm here on stage to tell you about cyber security and its importance and why we need to keep every single thing we have updated, right? So apply, we'll talk well after the presentation. <laughs> Just between me and you. Next slide, please. Okay, we, we live in a connected world. We live in a very connected world. This is how we are. The, the picture up there, this is how we are. This is your smartphones, this is your smartphone. You, we look in a very smart world now that is connected. So think about it. We have so many things connected to each other. The same way we are connected to each other as humans, right? So let me, let me just ask this real questions. How likely it is going to happen that you have two dumb people. You sit them in a bar or in a room and suddenly they become smart and they will enable price. How is that possible? How likely is that to happen? Not, right? Okay, so how likely it is to happen in our virtual world that you take two dumb devices, you connected them over the internet, and suddenly they become smart. Really, really very possible to happen. It's happening every single day. We invented our devices, we connected them together over the internet, and they become smart. Who has seen this vacuum cleaner? This vacuum cleaner. Who has seen it? Maybe on the internet or someone has it in their home. Anyone? So this is a vacuum cleaner um, invented by LG. I'm not saying LG is not good. It is good. It's good. It's good. Okay. So this has a 360 camera invented in it. Implemented in it. And it can help you to do all your house calls. To cleaning and everything. But recently, the research shows that hackers use it to spy on you, to spy on you and see what you have been doing in your house. And they can use that, of course, personal data breach, coming to your house, whatever, they can do it because they have used the cameras, which are implemented in it, to spy on your house. They can even come and, God forbid, to kidnap who, what is, who is in the house. Right. So um, recently, if anyone had this vacuum cleaner, this smart vacuum cleaner, you need to update it. That is an update that was uh, released recently, I think, three, four, five days. So you need to update it. It's really important. Um, next slide, not the previous one. Right. 
look at, in, we live in a connected world, like I said. If you look at the IoT definition of, um, the Oxford definition of IoT is that we live in a connected world whereby each and every connected device has an inherited vulnerability. And that is important that you keep updating every single day. Anything, you, anywhere, anytime you see there is an update release, it means that there is something the provider is trying to, um, to get it back into normal shape. Okay, so look at, like, right now I'm just hacking one of your friends, Ivan here. I don't know him, I've never seen him, right? Just got to know him here, and run some scans, and I found that his phone is vulnerable, and he hasn't been updating his phone for quite some time. So this is why it is important to keep on updating. This is a number of devices in billions. This is a number of devices in billions that have been compromised every single day. I have some real data that I will show you over here. And so the consequences have been ignored by many. They are not doing the right thing when it comes to uh, cyber security awareness. I know sometimes cyber security could be a little bit difficult. I, I've seen some guys here that I know that they are doing some cyber security and they came to me and they finally told me that, yeah, it's really difficult. Yeah, it is. But we need to be cyber security conscious. We need to reinvent ourselves and think about how can we be cyber security conscious? How can we prevent, prevent ourselves from being attacked in one way or the other? Okay, um, are you guys aware of the recent attack that happened to Netflix? There's a recent attack that happened to Netflix which affected countless of viewers, of course. Think that Netflix is something different. Think about this one. Netflix is just watch movie for your leisure time. Maybe you come back from home you want to watch. Think about if this thing it happens in a military. Think about if it, this attack happens in a in a healthcare system, how many people do you think will die? How many people will lose their life? Cyber security is part of us, and we need to be conscious of this cyber security. So Netflix was attacked recently, which affect countless of users. I am one of them who was affected. I was watching a movie, and I found that Netflix as well. So I had to run some scan to find out what exactly is happening with Netflix. And I found that, yes, Netflix is down, there are so many attacks that are going on, and I will show you a minimum number of attacks that I think the real data, real data here in this room, today, this morning, I will pick a real data of a worldwide attack that happens every single day, okay? So, this is the real data. If you look at it, I just picked it this morning when I was seated here. There are 6.6 .6 million attacks right now going on. 6.6 .6 million attack. Do you think if someone is trying to hack you, 6.6 .6 million, you will, you will be able to escape all the 6.6 .6 million? Yes, you will. Yes, you can. There are a lot of ways you can. One is keep your devices updated with any security vulnerability that is released. If once you're updated, the companies on the back end, they are doing their homework which uh, the company I came from, where I work in Cisco Systems, where I work in hard every single day to make sure that there is no data breach. Of course, data breach is happening every single day, but I was trying every single day to make sure that those data, data breaches are not affecting users. So we block it before it gets to you. Okay? So this is from real, real data. If you know, uh, previous slide, please. Yeah, look at it. This is happening from the US or to... Uh, Look at it to Spain, to Israel, to India. These are all going on right now. I can give you the link. I can give the co-host the link. You guys can use it and see exactly what I'm talking about. This is real data. I'm not making it up. Okay? Next slide, please. Okay. Are you guys aware of the recent data breach that happens in Sweden? In Sweden, whereby someone hack the whole government of Sweden and take the whole information of every single person in the country who has a tribal license, which means that his social security number is taken. Think about it. Someone took your uh, passport number, uh, what do you call it here? NIN. 
national a national identification number in Nigeria. He has all your details, and he went somewhere and he committed a crime, and he left that as an evidence and ran away. You will be in your house when someone will come and knock at your door, and he wants to invite you for an investigation. So there are a lot of things which are not going on. This is Equifax. I think a lot of people know Equifax, which is a financial body which helps people in uh, solving one or two of their financial uh, issues. It was hacked also recently by unknown people. So there are a lot, a lot of things that is going on. A lot of things that is going on. I will talk. I earlier on I talk about Bluefoot. There is a hacking. There is a, a tool called Bluebot, which is used to hack your mobile phones, laptop devices, smart devices, as long as the Bluefoot is on. As long as the Bluefoot is on, the hacker can use Bluebot and hack your devices. There is another thing that is uh, happening uh, here on the healthcare system. I think I have it uh, more on the next slide. Yeah, so these are the vulnerabilities that happen in the, in the healthcare system. More than half a million face maker devices has been recorded recently. Why? Because these devices need an update. These devices are already in human bodies. And these devices need an update. Tell me half a million people that has face maker which help them to breathe is vulnerable. Can you understand how important cyber security is in our life? Can you guys understand that it's really important we wake up and smell the coffee? Guys, I want you to enjoy your life, but you need to enjoy it with consciousness. It's, I think I was talking to one of the organizers here when I came and he gave me a Wi-Fi which has no password, right? I think the, the CEO network or COE network, yeah, COE network, it has no password. Guys, that is what I used. That is what I used in hacking, in running the scan. That's what I used. Okay, so we need to be cyber security aware. We need to be conscious of what we connected to. We need to be really serious on what we need to be connected on, which network we need to be connected on. You don't need to connect to a network that is free, without no password, or has a very weak password. Okay, this is a safe environment. I know there are all good people around here. But think about if someone just came in from nowhere, guys, the story will be different. I'm not gonna talk about uh, credit cards. So credit card is something different. You, you have just, I just hack your credit card or I hack your bank account. All you need to do is take your mobile phone, call the bank, and tell them, hey, Mr. Account Manager, my bank has been hacked. He will block the account or deactivate the credit card and give you another one. Think about it. If it is a face maker, this is from a recent research. All this data, guys, I'm sharing with you, these are real data, nothing made of. These are real data. This is something that is happening. Right now, around the world, not only in Nigeria, in many different different countries, these are all real data. Imagine if someone has a face maker who is breathing with it, who is helping him in pumping blood in his body, and this device is vulnerable. Have a million face maker recalled to come back to the hospital. Do you think this information will reach all these half a million people? I don't think so, because I know my grandfather in the village might not even know about the, uh, the, the information, right? Okay, uh, next slide, please. Yeah, so cyber security is not only a corporate or an individual affair. It's a national security. It's a national security something. The government needs to work with responsible government, with responsible bodies. Things like companies like Cisco, I'm not advertising my company anyway, so I do it's good. But think about a managed, a managed aircraft, which is loaded with weapons, passing somewhere, someone hacked it and redirected to somewhere. Most of our managed, most of these managed things are vulnerable to hacking. I can tell you this for free. I can tell you this for free. 
So think about all these things. So that's why cyber security is not, it's, of course, it is my responsibility, it is my responsibility, but the government needs to work with all um, bodies. And I know some countries where I work with, they have a rule that each and every company, service provider, whether you are providing software, hardware, services, you need to follow the rule of cyber security or else you will, your license will be cancelled of working in that country. I just came from, uh, from Saudi Arabia and I know because two weeks ago, okay, let's leave that one for another, for another day. <laughs> because it's a sensitive information. Some of the bodies in Saudi Arabia has been hacked two weeks ago and it wasn't really that good. So there are a lot of measures that we are taking to make sure that life of people are in a secure and safe environment. Next one, please. This is a picture of the plane. This is, this is a real picture, by the way. This is taken in the uh, in US. This is a real picture of an Omanat plane which is passing by with the weapons loaded in it. It's passing on the lake, right? This is another building. Just think about it like this one was hacked and was asked to drop all the weapons there. What is going to happen? A lot of life will be lost. So that is how cyber security, how important cyber security is in everyone's life. You will be in your home enjoying when maybe someone from somewhere will do bad thing and it will affect a lot of people's lives. Next one, please. So what is the role of government? Like I already mentioned, information assurance is really important. We need to make sure that the data that we share is secure. We cannot just go and connect to anything that we see around us, right? You need to make sure that whatever you are connecting to, it is important, it is safe, it is secure with a password. Even if you have two-factor authentication, whereby they will send an SMS to your mobile to make sure they, uh, to make sure that you are the real owner of the uh, that is trying to to connect to it. All right, I think I, I almost run out of my time. Can can I just go next next slide, please? Okay, this is these are all the companies that are, yeah, these are all the companies that are working hard day and night to make sure that we are secure. As you can see, this call is at the middle. Okay, I'm not advertising my company anyways. Uh, guys, here is the deal. I want you to enjoy your life. I want you to enjoy the connected world. I want you to be in your office when you have your vacuum, smart vacuum cleaner cleaning your house when you come back to watch Netflix. I want you to have your smart home when you come back home. Before you came, you can instruct it from your, from your office to turn on your AC, your television, so that when you come back, you can rest. But I want you to do this in a securely and protected way. That is all I want and nothing more. Uh, can, can you go to the next slide, please? Just go to the last one. I think I'm, I'm running out of time. So we can do this. We can do this. We can do this, but we need to be cyber security conscious. We need to be aware of what cyber security is all about. The time is limited, but when, I think with the information I've given you right now, with all the example, the real life example that I've given you, it is important for you to wake up and smell the coffee and know that cyber security is part of us and we cannot do that cyber security. We need to be cyber security conscious. We need to reinvent ourselves. Thank you very much.